find the x and y intercepts of a more harder one. But first, we need a game plan. A game plan. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And now we go over here. To find an x-intercept, you let y equal zero and you solve for x. What's my point? My point is, the x and y intercepts are points. Oh, <laughs> that's right. You ready? So first, if we're going to get an x-intercept, we're going to let y be zero, so we let it... Oh, boy! So then that's a zero is equal to an x squared minus an x minus a 20. Then what? Oh, teach me how to factor. I tried! We're looking for the factors of 20 that subtract to be 1. Are there any? Looks like a 4 and a 5. Sure, they multiply to be 20 and subtract to be 1. There's an x and there's an x. The signs are different. The big one's negative and positive. So what does that do? That gives you 2. It says x is equal to 5 or x is equal to a minus 4. How'd you know? I said each one of those equal to 0 and I found x. Now, what does that say? y was 0 when x was 5 and y was 0 when x, oh, x, stand up, get up there, get up, get, 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 yeah, he's minus 4, sure, all right, so we found that x intercepts when y is equal to 0, these are, oh, how you go, and you get a y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, you let x be zero, and you solve for y. And again, the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, you let x be zero. This is really nice here. Let x be zero. When we let x be zero, y turns out to be, look at this, I put zero in every word where I see an x, and it just knocks out those x's. Oh, Chris Brown. Oh, minus 20. What's that say? That says y is equal to a minus 20. Oh. So, what's my y-intercept? Did he just say Chris Brown? So, x is 0 and y is a minus 20. <laughs> All right. So, we found the x and y intercepts there. Oh, let's go find another one, see? Mm, yeah. So, to find an x-intercept, you let y equals 0. So, that looks like it's an x squared plus a 0 squared is 81 fun. Wait for it. x squared is 81 fun. Then I take the square root of both sides, but I'm not going to forget the plus or minus. So, then x turns out to be plus and minus 9. Fine. What does that even say? That says when x is 9, y is 0, and when x is minus 9, y is 0. Ooh now, when you let y be 0, what does that find? Huh? Huh? What does that find? When y is equal to 0, that's the oh, x-intercepts! Yeah. Hmm. Is that gamma? No. There you go. X-intercept. Now, let's go through and let's find the y-intercept by letting x equal 0. Let x equal 0. When we do, that's a 0 squared plus a y squared is 81 fun. Same trick. y is equal to plus and minus the square root of 81 because I take the square root of both sides, but I'm not going to forget that. Plus and minus. Nine. Nine, fine. So what's that say? When x is zero, y is nine. What else? When x is zero, y is minus nine, fine. What is that? That's the y-intercept. Now, that was a two different problems. Oy. I can't believe that they really think I am.